Hey guys, it is Monday, Monday morning, April the 2nd, 2018. Just had breakfast, topped off my cell phone. Going down this little alley here. Somebody said they wanted a uh, uh, a video about my monthly expenses or how much it costs, a uh, cost of living video, how much it costs to live here. <clears throat> and I will do that. I'll keep track of uh, my expenses for a couple weeks. And then I'll give you the rundown on how much I personally spend. But that's where it's going to get uh, uh, kind of difficult to say. Because simply put, you are going to spend as much as the lifestyle you want to lead will allow. There are so many variables because everybody's different Everybody has uh, things they feel are different needs or different wants. So my expenses may differ greatly from what you expect. I know a lot of people who wouldn't come over here and live in an apartment like the one I have. I think it's roomy enough. It fits me and my needs perfectly, but some people would be like, no, I need something bigger. I need something a little better, a little more high end. And of course, that's gonna mean more money. More high end, more money. But I can tell you right now, I can give you my, my basics every month, and it's been consistent since I've been here. So these are probably never going to change. My rent is $170 per month. I pay <clears throat> extra for my electric and water use, but that is all calculated based on what I use every month, so that might not stay the same. However, uh, for the two months since I've been living in my apartment, I've never paid more than $25 for water and electric. My bill, when I go to pay my rent, it's always been 194, 195. Now, electric, outside of your rent, electric will probably be your biggest expense because it's very expensive here for that. So how much you pay is going to be dependent on how much electric you use. If you want to turn on an air conditioner every time you get a little warm, you're going to pay a lot of money for your electric. If you're like me and can live with just a couple fans running, I haven't used my uh, air con since I've been here, no matter where I've been. So of course it won't be as expensive. So those are the basics, the important things. You got a place to live, you have some electricity going. Uh, my apartment has Wi-Fi included, it works well, so I don't have to pay extra for that. You might get an apartment that's cheaper, but you have to get your own Wi-Fi. That will add another expense. So I'm figuring my base at 200, that'll be for my uh, rent, electric, and water. I'm sure there are, the hot season is coming up, I'm sure there are times I'm going to use my air conditioning. But because my apartment isn't real big, I've said this before, I can run it for maybe an hour or two and it'll cool off the whole place really nicely for several hours. So my electric should not go up that much more. So 200 for that. 
uh, the food situation is again depending on what you want and how many times a day you want to eat and what you want to eat at those times uh, I eat cheap I love the street food uh, the little mom-and-pop stalls the I don't really go to the sit-down fancy restaurants so my food expenses even with two people when sang's around of course I, I allow her to eat too <laughs> I'm not I'm not an animal but uh I only eat twice a day I usually get up between 7 and 9 in the morning take a shower do some web stuff then I go out and get some breakfast like we just finished and then I usually eat again around uh, uh, 6 to 8 at night for dinner and there have been occasions like yesterday if you watch my last video where I did have two dinners <laughs> simply because I was eating early because I got hungry that'll happen well let's say with food two people two meals where we eat and like I said may not necessarily reflect your needs or wants and the occasional snack maybe a smoothie something like that I uh, spend about eight dollars a day for all of that which is incredibly cheap by the way that is for two people I get two coffees every day that's a couple bucks occasional smoothie Seng lights uh, water and these little uh, uh, these little cups of lychee juice which are only like 50 cents each the waters are only like 25 cents each so when it comes to the drinks I spend more than she does well yeah like that last meal like the meal we just had is two dollars like I said it's at one of those breakfast stalls you can get something different every day as the main as your main thing to eat then you get a plate of rice get another plate with sweet sausage and cucumbers on it it's filling it's delicious and two dollars for two people usually for dinner it'll be anywhere between three and four dollars for two people go to places that give you a little more more ingredients etc so yeah I'd say about eight dollars a day for food and drink the visa situation uh, a year visa to get one, to get a one-year visa here it costs three hundred dollars so that's only two dollars and fifty cents a month so figure that in how much am I up to I I'll have to go back and check you might see a little card pop up here after I finish this video <laughs> on how much my expenses are uh, other things I don't spend any more than $20 a month on transportation the occasional tuk-tuk uh, I do take a tuk-tuk when I'm going down to Pub Street on Saturday nights to drink and one home two dollars each way so that's four dollars times four Saturday nights a month obviously so that's 16 other than that I rarely take tuk-tuks anywhere because I like to walk but I throw in an extra couple trips I might get lazy just decide to grab a two dollar ride somewhere Sarlu market perhaps Sarlu isn't really a long walk it's not far but the whole way there you're on a, a highway 6 here which is like the main road and there's like almost no shade on that road whatsoever it is a very hot walk even if it's not very far because you can't get out of the sun so going there I might take a tuk tuk I'll walk one way take a tuk tuk back for two bucks but yeah, I figured twenty dollars for the tuk tuk yeah 
about 250 for eats and drinks about 200 for rent and bills uh, my cell phone is eight dollars a month that's a very good deal that includes all my calls texts and data usage it's a really good deal because uh, I don't run out of data I often use my hotspot to upload videos and if for some reason my Google Chromebook won't connect to Netflix for some reason I turn on my hotspot and just go through that and it works fine so yeah eight, eight bucks a month for for that is is <laughs> ridiculously good if you ever do run out of data you can go down there add another dollar whenever you want give you almost a whole nother week of use so yeah I'm gonna up that to 10 just because I like even numbers uh, then you get your uh, your everyday things that you're going to need you're going to need uh, things like toothpaste you're going to need uh, shampoo soap deodorant your hygiene needs And again, that's going to depend on what, if, if you are into your, if you have a favorite brand of things, uh, and it's imported here, you'll pay a lot more money for it. Uh, degree deodorant, which I used back in the States, was actually uh, like $4 here for one, one little uh, tube. But then other brands are cheaper, like two dollars, two fifty sometimes. Shampoo, soap, same thing. Brand names will cost more. <laughs> but you can find alternatives that work just as well. Of course, partying or, or the entertainment, what I call entertainment. Which would be like uh, when I go out, how much I spend on beer, uh, recreational activities, things of that nature. Uh, not much. I have one friend, we go out every Saturday night. Sometimes there's more people, sometimes there's not. But I'll buy a round for us and he'll buy a round for us. So maybe spend eight to ten dollars for the beer. If you buy a snack at one of the bars, it's going to be more expensive. So maybe another, you know, three bucks. So let's round that up to uh, ten per weekend. So that's forty a month. And then there's just things you buy on a whim. I mean, sometimes I'll just buy things on a whim. Like, you know, when you get here, you're going to need things. I needed a broom, uh, a dustpan. When I first moved into my apartment, I needed garbage cans. <laughs> you know, all that stuff. But those are one-time expenses. Those are not something that's going to continue. So I don't include them in this list. But laundry, yeah, I spend about $2.50 a week on laundry, so there's another 10 bucks a month. I take mine to the laundromat, two doors down from me. Turn it in one day, it's done the next. Bag folded, nice and clean. So yeah, even paying for two people sometime, I would say that I can live the lifestyle I lead I live here for less than $700 a month, all-inclusive. That is everything. Now, I said all that as a baseline because uh, 
I said this before, if you're going to the ATM, don't go to the ATM just to get out 20 or $40 because you're gonna be charged a fee uh, anywhere from two to $5. <clears throat> get out the money you're going to need for as long as you can. Like me, it's a month. And I've never taken more than $700 a month out. So, I'm saying my baseline, my absolute top end cost is $700. Of course, like I said, I'm kind of cheap. I know people over here that are renting really, really nice apartments, really nice areas of town, high end, higher end. They could pay as much as uh, six, seven hundred dollars a month. There's usually four or five of them, so they split it, so it's not too bad for them. But they live in these nice villas, condos. They have all the western style amenities, which as far as I know, simply includes a, a kitchen, an actual full-size kitchen, and a separate shower in the bathroom. I don't know why they would want to pay extra for that. I have no issue with my shower. It's attached to the wall between the sink and the toilet, and the little electrical box for the heater is right there. I turn it on. I get clean and the bathroom gets clean at the same time. It's a win-win. Then there's a little drain hole in the corner of the floor and it slopes down toward it. So it doesn't leave a mess. So yeah, basically those are my expenses. For the lifestyle I like, that's comfortable for me, and people would ask, uh, people always want to know, well, how would you rate your lifestyle? And I don't know what they actually mean by that. It's like, I rate it like, I don't know. I like my lifestyle. I had the money if I needed to, I could upgrade my lifestyle. I also know there are areas where I could actually cut back and get that number down from 700 a month down closer to six if I wanted to. Just by getting one coffee less a day instead of two, if I only got one, boom, I, I could save 30 bucks a month right there. But the lifestyle I lead is the one I like because it fits me. But again, it might not be for everyone. So your, your needs are going to determine your costs. And that's true anywhere. <laughs> you do have to keep in mind though that as a if you're coming over here to live, uh, maybe you're going to teach English, which would be a good choice. I recommend the International TEFL Academy if you don't have your TEFL. They're a professional, they're really good, and you will know your shit at the end of the course. But anyway, if you're coming over here to do that, you should keep in mind that the, the standard beginner teacher salary with just a TEFL no other degree, no previous experience. You're only going to be making about a thousand dollars a month. Like I said, on my lifestyle, that's fantastic because I, that means that that's an extra three, four hundred bucks I can just put away. I can just save, and I plan on staying here for at least a year, so that I'll have a nice chunk of change when I leave. But then again, there, you, you, you should also always plan for emergencies or things that you're not expecting. Um, if my laptop breaks down and I take it to a repair shop and they, and they say, well, there's really nothing we can do, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to have the money for another laptop. You know, if one of my chargers goes bad, I'm going to have to buy another charger. So you should always have some reserve money in the back uh, for just such an emergency. I happen to have three credit cards that I do not use and that's strictly for situations like that. If I needed a new $700 laptop <clears throat> and I took it out of my living money, that's that's a whole month worth of living, of living for me. So I would probably just use uh, one of my credit cards 
pay the minimum payment each month until I saved up enough money to pay it off. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. So that's it for the cost of living. As I said, I will for the next two weeks keep track so I can get a an actual accurate thing. But I don't think it's going to vary much from those numbers I just gave you because I don't do anything different than I normally would. <laughs> I'm usually really good in my head about keeping track of how much I spend. Like the extra 50 cents for a meal. Eh, maybe I can wait. But like I said, in a couple weeks I'll do a more comprehensive one. We'll get a really accurate figure. And we'll go from there. Talk to you guys later. At least I finally got her to put on pants. I consider that a victory. Okay, I'm going to close out this vlog real quick. I just did a quick, uh, I hope you can see it on my, on my laptop screen. I just did a quick summary. I added about 30%, sometimes a little more, to all my basic costs. Just to give you a rundown if you wanted to lead a more upscale lifestyle. If you spent more than me, if you weren't so careful with your money, what it would be. And as you can see, rent utilities are 220 as I said, I've never paid more than 195 for any of it. But when I start using my aircon in the coming hot season, that might go up a little bit. So I figure the high end 220, food is 330. I've never spent, I have not spent close to $300 on food here ever. That includes snacks and drinks. <laughs> that's, that's for everything. But like I said, I added. So if you have a more extravagant lifestyle than me, you can kind of get an idea. Uh, phone ten dollars a month like I said it's actually eight but I added a couple dollars if I do run out of data just so I have that covered transportation about 20 bucks that's just about right even though again I don't usually spend that much entertainment is 120 uh, before I told you about going out to the bar how much I spend but I got thinking I really haven't done anything else entertainment wise that I want to do like I might want to go see a movie at the Cineplex that's gonna cost some money if I want to take a ride out to uh, the, the, the Landmine Museum, which I really want to do, it's $5 to get in, but it's a long ways off, so it's going to take like a $20 tuk-tuk ride uh, to get there and back, like $20 total for there and back. So little things like that you, don't, you, know, you might not do every day, and, uh, but I added it in there. Yeah, at the top end, I'll spend $120 on that. Miscellaneous is 30 That's your personal hygiene stuff and if you want a little trinket or a little knickknack or something that looks cool for two or three bucks every now and then you know not, again not every day not every time you see something just buy it impulsively but you know every once in a while and then the visa I mistakenly said in the video earlier that it was two dollars and fifty cents a month for the year visa which is three hundred dollars that is wrong it is twenty five dollars a month so I wanted to amend that here uh, $25 a month to put away for your visa every year. So at the very, very top end, <clears throat> and again, for me and the lifestyle I choose, the very, very top end is $755. So looks like I got money to burn that I, I never done this before. I never actually counted how much I spent. I always thought I was spending more than I was, but apparently I'm not spending as much as I thought I did because I have never as I said, taking out more in a month out of the ATM than $700, and I've had money left over at the end of the month. So 755 is like my top end. Uh, if it costs you more, your lifestyle may be different. Uh, but again, a lot of variables in that, a whole lot of variables that I can't figure out for everyone. But for me, that's a good basic figure. I'll end the vlog here. Talk to you guys later.